Hi everyone, Hi, Prilly K. So today I have a haul video for you. I bought some stuff um, over the past few weeks. I've bought a couple of things from ASOS, a bit of a feel unique sale haul, and then I may have bought a couple of things from the new Charlotte Tilbury makeup range. So I thought that I'd film a video and show you exactly what I've bought because I haven't done a haul video in what seems like quite a long time. So yes, yeah, so I'm just going to crack on with it. First things first, I bought this pink blouse um, a few weeks ago as well. This one is from Topshop. Um, so basically, it, I will pop all the links to everything that I can find online below so that you can click onto it and get a better look. But I bought this straight away, pink blouse. Um, it's kind of got this thing across the, um, like almost like a panel across the boob area so you're not flushing your bra, which is quite nice. Um, and it's just like a really nice bright pink colour. I decided that I wanted a pink shirt after watching X Factor and Nicole Scherzinger had this most amazing pink shirt on during the arena auditions and I was like, I need a pink shirt in my life. So I did go out and buy one like a copycat. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking it because I have always quite suited pink and I just don't really have very many pink items in my wardrobe. So it's nice to have something that's a bit more colourful because I do tend to buy a lot of neutral colours. And especially now that we're going into awesome, literally everything that I want to buy is like black, grey, which is a bit boring. So yeah, so it's nice to have a bit of colour in my wardrobe. I think it looks quite nice with like a pink lip as well, which I've got on today too. So I bought that. I think that was 30... How much was it? 36 for either 36 or 32 pounds um so yeah quite pricey for a shirt but that you know that is top shop but i just thought you know it was worth it because i wanted something a bit different so if i start off with the stuff that i bought from asos i um had some money in my paypal account which is basically why i've got this haul because basically money doesn't feel like real money when it's in your paypal account and it just kind of sits there and it just seems a waste to put it in your bank account so i thought you know what i'm going to spend my paypal money on some good stuff so I picked up first of all this structured black uh, t-shirt, it's from Mango but I bought it from ASOS and I have to say I do quite like Mango stuff, I think they do quite nice tailored more smart clothes at quite a reasonable price. I think this was something like £22.99 so it's like a really really thick material and then it's got like an exposed zip at the back but I really liked it because it's got a slightly longer sleeve and you can just wear it with so many different things. I absolutely love a t-shirt. So this one's a bit more structured, it's thicker. So it's not gonna go all, like, you know, sometimes when you have black t-shirts, they can go a bit like meh after a few washes. This one's gonna stay in shape and it just looks really nice with like a statement necklace. Let me just show you. Looks nice with a statement necklace. And yeah, it just goes with everything. I can wear it with stuff for work. I can wear it with like jeans in the day. So I just thought it'd be a really good staple. So I picked, that up from Mango at ASOS and I really really like. Next up I bought this blouse that I'm not 100% sure on. Um, I tried it on and I do think I look a bit like something from the Elizabethan times but we'll kind of roll with it. Um, so I bought this petite shirt and it's got a really cute scalloped collar. You all know that I loved my collars and I was, obviously we're going into autumn now so I just thought this would be really cute for like layering underneath jumpers. Um, and yeah, it's like a cream colour and it's just a, just a nice, you know, quite structured blouse and it was a petite one too, so the arms are a bit longer because I always find that with like normal blouses I always have to roll up the sleeves because I am obviously a petite person. Um, so yeah, so I bought that as well, it's got, it's even got like a detailed bit across, it's got like a scalloped panel, what am I doing? you can see it's got like a scallop panel as well so I just thought that was really cute and I just thought that I'd probably get quite a lot of wear out of that as well. Thing that I bought from ASOS was this jumper dress with this gorgeous collar. I'm really back into having everything with collars at the moment. I think it's maybe because I didn't really wear many things with collars during the summer because it was so hot. I think I'm going on collar overload. So I picked this up because I just thought it was, I just kind of fell in love with it and it's basically just like a jumper shift dress. To be honest with you, I've not tried it on yet, so I'm not really sure how it's going to look, but hopefully it will be okay. I'm thinking of maybe wearing this to the Cosmo Blog Awards, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, so I just kind of fell in love with it, I just thought it was really, really cute. And I just thought it's something that I know that is quite simple, but I know that I get a lot of wear out. So next up, I did buy some things from the Feel Unique Summer Sale, and it came in this massive box. 
Um, so I've been wanting a few things from Feel Unique for a little while now and then their summer sale came along and I definitely would recommend checking it out the next time they've got like maybe they might do a winter sale because everything is just such like discount at uh, such discounted prices it's really really good. So I picked up some of my favourite tan and it's the Zen Tan Moroccan Tan. Basically this is my favourite tan because it's super dark, it lasts for a good I don't know, five to seven days without flaking off, which is really good, and it smells of coconut. So in my eyes, this is amazing. I loved it last winter, and I thought now that the sun has disappeared, obviously my natural tan is going to start to fade soon, so I thought I may as well pick this up whilst it's such a good price. I think recommended retail price is about 20 to 22 pounds and this was 14.99 so I thought that was a really really good price for such a good product so I got that to prepare myself for when winter comes along. I'm trying to get back into false eyelashes lately and I kind of have a bit of a love-hate relationship with false eyelashes they look so good on some people like I've got a couple of friends at work who wear them all the time and they look amazing when I wear them I feel like a drag queen I don't know what it is but I just don't think false, lash false lashes suit me Basically, um, the Millie Macintosh lashes are now stocked on Feel Unique, so it makes them a lot more accessible to buy them because you had to buy them from like this Novu Lashes website before and it was just kind of a bit difficult. So I thought I would pick some more up because Millie always wears them and the lashes that I picked up before were so easy to wear and I didn't feel like a drag queen. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get some more. So I picked up the Shoreditch ones which look like this. They're really like light and fluffy. Um, I have got a few nights out planned like within the next couple of months and obviously like when Christmas comes along you've got Christmas parties to go to. I'm really planning ahead here. So I just thought, they weren't in the sale but I just thought I would pick them up. So I think they're like 7 or 8 99 a pack. But my other ones lasted for such a long time, I don't really mind paying that. And then I picked up the Ibiza lashes, which are the summer limited summer edition. So these have got um, two pairs. So you've got some corner eyelashes, which I'm absolutely loving at the moment because they're so much easier to pop on than like normal false lashes. And I think they're not as intense, so you don't have that really scary like full eye look. And then they've got just some regular lashes too, but. I seen I saw that Millie used these in one of her Feel Unique makeup tutorials and they looked really nice. So I picked up both of those to try because you all know that I love Millie and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try and get false lashes to work for me and I thought these would probably would be my best shot at doing it. Picked that. up a couple of new makeup brushes as well. The Real Techniques range was also reduced online, which was great. So I picked up the setting brush, which looks like this, and I thought this would be perfect for applying highlighter or like concealer under the eyes because currently I'm using my Real Techniques contour brush. So my poor contour brush has got a bit of a multi purpose at the moment. It's doing concealer, it's doing highlighter, it's doing everything. So I thought I would buy it, you know, a little sidekick, and I just thought that it would be great for either like concealing under the eyes because it looks really nice and soft or you know applying some highlights or even like blush at, or you know, even contouring so I thought that it would be a really handy brush to have and I think this had either 10 or 15% off so it was only £6 something which I thought was really cheap. I bought the new Miracle Complexion Sponge which is basically the Real Techniques version of the Beauty Blender which quite a lot of bloggers have been raving about lately so I thought I would give it a go. It was something like £4 49 um, and yeah I'm not sure about it I don't know if I'm using it right there doesn't really seem to be there's not really any instructions on it so I'm a bit like confused at how to use it I've read some blog posts and it just kind of I don't know I don't know how to feel but basically like I have washed it and it's still really stained so I think that it's kind of always going to look really manky which isn't great like I literally washed it about 10 minutes ago um, but yeah, I thought I would give it a go because it's new out, everyone loves the beauty blender and I thought, you know what, it might be interesting to see how applying my makeup with a sponge is to applying it with a brush. My verdict at the moment is that I'm not going to be throwing away my buff and brush anytime soon, but I will persevere and I might look up some YouTube tutorials and hopefully I'll be able to get this to work for me. I also picked up these eye makeup remover and corrector filled cotton buds. Because a lot of people have raved about the ones that MAC used to do, I don't think they sell them anymore. And I am really cat candid, so usually most days I end up with like mascara down here, I've ended up with mascara on my nose before. And it's always really difficult to try and like get, you know, right into there to get rid of it. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to try these out. I think they were like two or three pounds, so they weren't very expensive. And I just thought I would try them and see. I know it's kind of lazy because you can just use cotton buds and eye makeup remover, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to try them. And I have to say, they're a little bit weird, let me show you. Um, 
they come like this so basically what you have to do is you have to like snap the top bit and then liquid distributes into the bottom bit and then you use this to obviously do whatever you want but I thought there would be more there's only 24 so I don't think they're going to particularly last me a long time um, I've had a couple that I've like broken the top bit and no water's come out or liquid come out so yeah again I'm not 100% sure on these I will keep you posted but I think in the future I might just you know stick to cotton buds and a bit of eye makeup remover because obviously that is a lot cheaper but I thought you know what I'd give them a go I've been wanting to try them for ages and at least now and the final product that I got from the Feel Unique sale is this uh, TGS Factor Smoothing Lusterizer that how you say it it's a defrizzer and a tamer so basically you put this on damp hair and it's kind of like a leave-in conditioner slash serum I'm kind of getting bored of hair oils I've used them for probably about two years and I just thought you know what I'm going to try something new I've seen, I know that Zoella raves about this and her hair always looks amazing so I thought, you know what, this is in the set, I'm going to give it a go. It smells so good, it smells like strawberry milkshake and I have to say so far I'm really liking it. My hair's been feeling proper dry and kind of a bit lifeless after the summer, I think it wasn't really feeling the heat. So I thought that I would get this to prepare it for autumn because before we know it we'll be wearing scarves and my hair hates scarves. So I thought I'm going to get something like really intensive and nourishing to help it out. So yeah I picked that up. I think it was like 11 or £12 and I'm pretty sure this is going to last me a really long time. So again I will keep you posted on that one. So next I bought three very naughty purchases. Charlotte Tilbury as you probably all know has released her makeup range this month. Well yeah last month really and everyone went a bit crazy for it she's obviously this amazing makeup artist she does like the Victoria's Secret model she does anyone who's anyone basically and when her makeup line came out everyone was like OMG and to be fair I kind of fell head over heels in love with it everything was so pretty and so nice and it just seemed like I literally could have bought the whole range it was just everything that I'm into the prices were quite pricey, her magic cream was like £70 a pot and I was devastated because I really wanted to try it but I just could not justify that money at all. So I let myself buy a few things, like I said my PayPal um, account had some, some pennies in it so I thought you know what I'm going to treat myself. So I bought first of all the luxury eye palette and this is the colour coded eyeshadows. Now what does it say on the back? It says each palette contains four harmonious shades and an easy to use application ritual. So there's like four steps. So number one is prime, number two is enhance, number three is smoke and number four is pop. So I got the golden goddess palette which looks like this if I hold it up like that. So this is the prime, this is the enhance, that's the smoke and that's the pop. And it's just the most gorgeous palette ever. It's so up my street. It's all like neutrals and goldy browns. And then the glitter shade is just amazing. You don't get any fallout with it at all, which I think is incredible. Because if you think of like Urban Decay sidecar, the fallout is just awful. And also the glitter lasts all day long. Um, I tried it out to work and literally about 12 hours later, 8pm at night, the glitter was still on my eyelids. And I think that's pretty good going. So I've been absolutely loving using that and I think it's definitely probably worth the price tag if you've got some money that you know you don't mind spending on a really good quality eyeshadow palette then I'd recommend picking up one of the Charlotte Tilbury ones. All of them look absolutely gorgeous but I went for this one because you all know that I love my neutrals and my browns and you know the golden goddess that's totally up my... I picked up two of the Colour Chameleon uh, Colour Morphing Eyeshadow Pencils because I'm really into like trying to enhance my eye colour. I really like it when you wear like eyeshadows that really make your eye colour like stand out. So I picked up two. I picked up one which was called Golden Quartz and this one is actually for hazel eyes. But sometimes my eyes can look a bit hazily so I just thought well I will pick that up and I'll just show you it. It's a really gorgeous like goldy bronze colour it's almost got like maybe a little hint of like olive green but it's just really really pretty and I just really really like it. and then I picked up dark pearl which is for brown eyes and that's like a taupey bronzy shade with a little bit of purple but they're both absolutely gorgeous they stay put for so long I literally swatched them on my arms and they were there for ages and um, so I absolutely love those they're really easy to work with really really blendable and they're just a really nice easy smoky eye so I've been absolutely loving them 
and again I will keep you posted on how I'm getting on with those but they are just all of them are such nice products and I'm sure that hopefully if I get maybe you know some money at Christmas or whatever I might have to buy a couple more things from the collection because obviously they're just a really really good quality range. So that was my little haul, I say little haul, it wasn't actually that little but oh well. Um, so I hope you're all good, I hope you've all had a great week. Um, let me know in the comments below if what kind of videos you would like to see next and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye! Meet someone at the end of the video, so this is Frankie, it's Frankie. He is a Labradoodle, it's meant to be miniature, but I think he's going to be absolutely huge, don't lick me. Um, so yeah, this is Frankie, we've had him for just over a week and he's been a bit challenging, but we're getting there, aren't we Frankie? Yes? So I thought I would just show you so you can say hello to little Frankie. Um, I have done a vlog about his getting him and I might just do um, like a finishing thing about like some tips and stuff, because... Um, Having a puppy is quite challenging, but it's definitely really rewarding too. So that's Frankie. You're a good boy, aren't you? Hmm? So yeah, so say bye-bye. Okay, so thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye!